To argue and to kill people over cartoons seems absurd, and to stand up to those who kill is an act of bravery. Some Ottawa students have decided they will not be intimidated. They produce an irreverent, satirical show on YouTube. They're all Muslim, all new immigrants to this country, and they say they've learned a lot about freedom of expression and religion since they got here. As Mike Licatour reports, they're willing to take great risks defending those principles. Action. It looks like a school production being filmed in the basement of Anas Marwa's parents' home. The university students actually yell quiet on the set to warn his mom they're working. But once it's uploaded to YouTube, the weekly show, a play on Jon Stewart's Daily Show, is a slick satirical production poking fun at ISIS videos and the Muslim world. Um, satire has the ability to go viral, satire has the ability to make people laugh, and it has the ability to attract the same audience they're trying to attract, which is youth. Plus, we're having fun doing it, so why not? <laughs> <laughs> None of them were born in Canada. Half are Syrian, the others Palestinian. But they're speaking with one voice, feeling someone has to stand up to Islamic extremists and their well-produced propaganda. What we're trying to do is make good high-end uh, production videos so we can counter, sort of launch a counter-propaganda against ISIS. We created the new terrorist-friendly device. That the show was step one. Soon, ISIS skits like and the ISIS iPhone were born. We also produced a mock Grand Theft Auto video game starring an Islamic extremist. Shocking to some, and they're well aware of the sensitivity out there. There was like a camera there, so they knew that we were shooting something, but there's this one Not time... Not shooting something, like shooting. <laughs> <laughs> video shooting something. Yeah. Yeah. You guys have to be careful yeah. when we're talking. <laughs> video shooting something. The satirists know they're a long way from achieving John Stewart's status, but already they're having an impact with Muslim communities around the world. Muslims enjoy uh, satire just as much as anybody else. Um, so I think it, it's, uh, it's a really powerful tool uh, to have. The last week's attack on the satirical newspaper Charlie Hebdo could have scared the students into shutting down production. Instead, they drew strength from their hero. I tell you, John Stewart, he would not stop if ISIS threatened him. And um, we wouldn't. We won't. Refusing to be intimidated, believing it's best to fight fire with funny. Mike LeCouture, Global News, Ottawa.